All right, what's up guys? Captain Rick Stanzik here. We're uh, getting ready to go fishing. We got the bean. That's right. And we got Astrid here. We're gonna go try to catch some snappers and make a little bit of mangrove snapper ceviche later. We're gonna share that with you. Kind of a rainy day here in Isla Mirada. We got uh, Tropical Storm Ada coming up from the east to the west. So we got a little bit of a window here to go fishing and it looks like it's gonna be a real nasty weekend. But uh, anyways, wanted to get out there while we could. So keep watching guys and uh, we're gonna have a fun time. Ah, so actually guys, I'm from Peru. I was born there. So I'm excited to make the ceviche because uh, ceviche originated from Peru. So this is gonna be exciting. And uh, I just got cabin fever, so I need to go fishing. And also uh, my mini rods haven't gotten to work out in a while. So that's good use. Oh yeah, we got the mini rods for today. It's going to be fun. Ready to roll, under the bridge we go. Nice thing with the mini rods, you don't gotta put them down going under the bridge. Alright guys, we found some bait, we got to catch some mullet, we're going to be fishing with some chunks of bait for some bigger snappers. Um, bigger bait, bigger fish, it's true in this case. You don't always catch as many, but the ones you do catch are going to be nice. And We're looking for a few for dinner, so that's going to be our deal. We're going to go try to catch these mullet here, get the cast net out, and uh, we'll see what we can catch. Alright, so we're getting the net out here, getting loaded. Um, this is a Betts one inch that's one inch mullet net when they say one inch that means the uh, size of the holes in there so that's a little bigger it sinks faster and these mullet are fast baits and bigger baits so that's what we like to throw on them I actually have a couple of new nets coming from Betts uh, three-quarter inch which is uh, a little smaller which won't gill the bait so bad because these baits sometimes when they're you know not real real big they'll get their heads stuck in these holes here and uh, then they're just kind of a little bit more of a pain to get out it's it takes you more time to clear, clear the net and make another throw so I'm looking forward to getting that net um, they got a new style net out that I'm really excited to uh, to get my hands on but this here is Old Faithful the one inch Betts mullet net all right just throw it down here I'm just gonna try throwing right here said they get gilled you can kind of see they get stuck in that net a little bit like right there they either got to shake them out of there or an easy way to do it is just push them right on through Oop, there he goes I think we're good here we don't need a ton of bait so we're gonna go ahead and just put these in the cooler and get on out there and go fishing keep it moving let's go get dinner all right
got into our little cuts here, our mangrove snapper cuts. We're just out in the bay, you know, a few miles uh, from the Keys. Uh, good areas where there's clear water. Hopefully some nice sized mangrove snappers in here. We're gonna be catching them on the mini rods. Hopefully. Keep a few for dinner. For some ceviche like we talked about. All right, let's see what we can catch. All right, what do we got in here, Bean? A block of chunk. Well, give it a little shake, ring that dinner bell. That's right, we got chum in the water, just ground up fish with some oil mixed in there. Put it in a bag and let it thaw, and uh, it brings the fish in. We don't use a whole lot of chum in the backcountry, um, aside from catching bait, but catching these mangrove snappers in the cuts is definitely gonna help them find you. So we're gonna put it out there and uh, let it do its thing. Monster, but it's a start again. Got her chummed up. Just dropped it. Nah, I whipped him. The Ultra 24 Master. If you want one of these, we have fun to marry. It's oh, and we're tight. Oh, that's a good one. It's pulling drag. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Pull, pull and drag, Ricky. Get the net. Get him, Bean. Get the gaff. Get the harpoon. Get him, Bean. <laughs> this one's big. This one's going into ceviche tonight. Oh, yeah. Look at him down there. Here he comes. Oh, he's pulling drag. Pulling drag. Oh, that one's. That's dinner right there. Got to flip him in the boat. Oh. That's a good Ooh. main there. That's dinner. Ooh, that's dinner. what I'm talking about. On the mighty might. Look at that. All right. Good. Pretty colors that they get back here. Right. In the box. That's right, in the well. So this is the rig. We got light 20 pound fluorocarbon leader, small hook, and a split shot. See that hook? Ashford's gonna show us how it's done. Always outfishes me. We're gonna chunk these mullets up into nice little pieces and uh, put them out there for them. Smaller than that. Piece, smaller than that.
go. Oh, no, no. Oh, he's still on. He's still on. He's just running at me. Oh, there's a, there's a shark on him. Oh, my God. That was yeah, really poor. Shark. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that nurse shark's after my dinner. Oh. Oh, like, look at that one. The real one. Going towards the back of the boat. Look at that one, Ricky. Oh, man. It's like a baby Kubera. Look at that. Oh, wow. All right. Flip them in. Look at that one. Woo! Size large on the mini. Look at that. Oh, man. I don't get better than this. Mighty Mang on a Mighty Mike. Alright. Pig. Yeah, so I'm not gonna even be able to use it. Alright. Astrid's on the board. And we gotta keep her there. Drag pullers. Look at that angry. It won't even let me get my hook in there. Look at that. Angry. Look at that. You hear him chomping. That's why I call them snappers. Using the power poles to hold us in position here, these things uh, really work well in the back. But... It's a, it's a monster, Ricky. It's a moose. It's a moose. Moose man. Come up here. Come here. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Here we go. Ah! Look at that. That's a nice one. That's a fat one there. Oh, that's a VJ right there all day. Here it goes. In the box. Oh, yeah. Put them all night. All right, guys, so some awesome mangrove snapper fishing. We got our limit. We're going to head back to the dock and get them in that ceviche mix. So stay tuned. All right, so we're back at the dock under the hydro hoist lift. This thing's gonna keep my boat safe when this uh, tropical storm Ada comes. So it's awesome because this roof it can withstand up to like 75 mile an hour winds, and uh, I've had to put it to the test a couple times. So she'll be sitting right here. All right, let's go clean some fish. All right, so we got a nice brine here. We've thrown the snappers in. So after we fillet them, they'll sit in that salt water and ice, get nice and cold and firm up. Mm. Bean's gonna cut one up for us here. Mangrove snapper is about as simple as it gets for cleaning, oh, yeah. but one of the best eating fish in the bay. Here we go. That's the one I want. Let's clean that one. Yeah. One I caught. All right. First thing I can do is kind of just make it flexible, give it a bend, and then this right here. I kind of blast the slime off them. Now one little trick I like to do with mangs. 
So I'm gonna start right here towards the head. And then of course this whole area from his anal fin to the top of his head, it's pretty much bones in his rib cage. So I'm cut straight down right there. Just pull that all the way down. And then right there is everything else that you see in there is just basically his rib cage. And if you feel your your if you run your finger through where the the pin bones do you are, there's no bones. So pretty deep bone, nice flay of May. Same thing. When we do the opposite side, start from an anal fin. And then go up. Two sets. Just like that. Curve your knife. Thing. Look at that. And then we feed the pets. Over here, start from tail up to skin it. Get the area where you can get your fingers in. Get your knife completely flat. There you go. Ready to eat. Do the same thing with this one. Get your fingers there. Work up. There you go. Deep bone, deep skin, mangrove snapper fillets. All right. A couple little bones right there. Ready for cooking. Ready for ceviche. All right. Now we're gonna throw them in the brine and let them sit. There you go. All right, guys. Well. We're gonna clean the rest of these up. I'm gonna get the boat cleaned and uh, we'll see you guys in the kitchen. Gonna make some ceviche. Ooh, ceviche time. Mm, that gets the bean chummed up. El ceviche, vamos, estamos listo. <laughs> she said it, you heard it. All right, guys, keep watching. All right, we're here on the Beans houseboat, and we're getting ready to do ceviche with uh, with Astrid. So walk us through what we're going to be doing here. So this is a traditional Peruvian ceviche. Y tú eres peruana porque yo nací ahí. Eres lo mejor. So what we're going to do first is make something called the, um, the milk of a tiger, leche de tigre. And then we're going to cut up the fish and kind of just let it marinate for 30 minutes. Milk of the tiger, is that like tiger's blood? <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Oh, I'm excited. Let's see if Master Bruce wants a piece of fish. Master Bruce, you want a piece of fish? Let's see. Not amused. No. <laughs> Just, what's wrong with that cat? So some of our ingredients for the leche de tigre, uh, you want about a dozen to 15 limes, fresh cilantro, um, red onion, if you want it spicy, a jalapeno, salt, pepper, and garlic. What we're gonna do is um, pretty much cut all this up except for um, the onion, blend it together with one small piece of white fish, which is gonna give us that milky, creamy color. And then we're gonna let it sit with the diced up fish. I'll have Brandon do that. Mm -hmm. And um, then we'll also put a couple pieces of red onion with it and just let it soak in all the flavor. putting all the fish in here along with the uh, onion and cilantro and uh, lime juice of course and Leche let it cook tigre. and the milk Leche of the tiger tigre, yes I woke up this morning and I said, you know what? I got the craving for ceviche. And she makes the best. Let's 
see how the meat is white. The lime juice cooks the meat. Let's see what we got here. A little cilantro piece. So refreshing. Very good. A little spice All to right. it. A little spice to it, but not too spicy, you know? Oh, we got a visitor? <laughs> oh, yeah, got Jamaican Mike in the building. Yeah, well, I see it. You heard some uh, There you go, it's true. Jamaican Mike in the house. One low. Yes, I for real, come on, yo, for real. Snap, you heard the snapper and ceviche around? Yeah, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on. It cook, right? Oh, it's cooked. Oh, can we do it, eat raw fish? No, no, it's cooked. As long as it cook, you know? Because it look nice and good. Yeah, man, it look proper. Real proper. Yeah, man, for real. Straight. Yeah, man, I'm going to try it. It's a snapper, snapper, um... Mango snapper. Snap, what is it? Shebenj? I can't pronounce that word too much. Snapper ceviche. 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 That's the one. Ceviche. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, I'm gonna try to snap on ceviche. Huh? Lot of mercy. Respect always, rude boy. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Refreshing, right? Yeah. It's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> man, man. It's soft. Soft, right? Mm. Oh, they like it. It's All soft, right. Buddy. My turn. I like it. You lightly cook it though, because it's really like soft, man. I like that. Mm. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Tangy. Yeah. But it's good. Yeah. Refreshing. All right. It's the winner. Oh yeah. All right, guys. Really? Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. We'll be bringing more to you next time. And uh, make sure you try some uh, mangrove snapper ceviche with the milk of the tiger's blood. Yo, milk of the tiger. Milk of the let's tiger. Let's say the tea right, yeah. And make sure you smash that like button until your finger break. Yeah, man. It doesn't know it up. See it? All smash right. it. We're All out. Right. See that? Respect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bruce, milk of the tiger. Milk of the tiger, milk of the Bruce.